One of the most commonly asked questions we get here at Gold Seal involves Class G and E airspace. Even our private pilot students get it mixed up from time to time. To clear this up a little bit, let's forget about classes B, C, and D and just focus on class E and G, starting with class G. Think of the Earth's surface and imagine that we flooded it with water, 1,200 feet deep. The entire continent is covered by a layer of water from the ground up to 1,200 feet. This water would represent class G airspace, starting at the surface and going up to 1,200 feet above ground level, or AGL. But it's not just wide open land out there. There are airports and the space around them needs to be just a little bit more structured. In these places, Class G starts at the surface but only goes up to 700 feet near the airport and then out to 1,200 feet. Anytime you see the shaded magenta ring around an airport, this is what it's referring to. In some places, there are cylindrical cutouts of the Class G. This brings us into a different airspace, Class E to the surface. Don't be fooled by these small little airports. They are controlled airspace and unlike Class G, you do need authorization to fly in them. Class E also exists between all other airspaces. So we have Class G from the surface up to 1200 feet and then Class E up to the next overlaying airspace. If there is no B, C or D airspace over that area, then that means the Class E goes all the way up to Class A at 18,000 feet. Everything that isn't Class G is Class E. So in our example here, everything that isn't covered in blue is Class E up to 18,000 feet. All of Class G is uncontrolled and all of Class E is controlled airspace. According to Part 107.41, you only need to have authorization to fly in Class B, C, D, and Class E to the surface within the lateral boundaries of an airport. Meaning in this sectional, even above 1,200 feet, you would only need authorization to fly within this dashed magenta shape. To dig into this in more detail and get actual FAA test questions from the Part 107 exam, go to onlineGroundSchool.com. Good flying.